It is a privilege today on the summit to get to visit with Coach Jarrell Jackson from Texas College, who is in his third season with the program, midway through the season right now. And Coach, you guys are coming off a big time win this past Saturday, forty to thirty-four, the victory in overtime over Louisiana Christian there in Pineville. Let's start off talking about that game. A big win for the program. It was a big win for the program. The, uh, the kids played hard all the way through. Uh, we had some adversity up, up and down, but we got the. The saying I learned from Mike Leach is play the play the next play. Uh, the guys went through and played the next play and, and did a great job. Uh, uh, we had some guys step up. Uh, uh, Dylan Du Bois stepped up, made some good uh, good plays. Uh, Kendrick Lee, who was a big time player for us last year, running up to uh, freshman of the year, got a big fumble recovery, returned for a touchdown, and then we had a uh, uh, Ty, uh, Tyree Lizzy made some big plays and uh, DeAndre Hill. Those guys came through for us. Uh, our quarterback, Amani Gilmore, uh, was, was solid in our line play really pretty really, really well for us um big win for the program big fan big win for those kids uh opportunity to continue to win and continue to build a program that we got going coach that program now is one in which you are in your third season we mentioned that and things seem to be trending upward i mean it's a program seems to be going the right direction tell us a little bit about the program there in tyler uh, we got some guys we got some young guys here uh they came in and bought into the program and helped us grow uh, we got uh, some some uh, older guys like Terrell Hookfin and uh, Kendrick Lee who've been around for a little bit and, and kind of bought into the program and what we're trying to do. Um, I've been around some guys, some coaches, some, uh, Coach Stoops and Mike Leach and Buddy Tevens. Those guys, uh, you know, they always tell you to stay, stay the course. And year three, you should see uh, some progress. And year three, we see some progress. Uh, guys, are, guys are really bought into it and, and what the program was all about. We kind of removed some of the riffraff, some of the guys that was – that was on the outside. That was kind of we kind of felt was holding us down, jumping in, jumping out. So we got a deal now. You miss three three workouts, you, we we done. We move on and and, and keep moving forward. So uh, the guys are playing hard. Uh, we have a consistent schedule. We practice in the morning. I think they like that. We meet in the afternoon. Um, so we, we got a fun group. We got some young kids that from all over from uh, New Orleans and Miss, Mississippi. They kind of came in and blended in. And, um, they took off. You know, defense got some young guys over there that are really they really attacking, hitting. And then playing well in the offense, we got, you know, the same old crew that's just making plays, being where they need to be. So it's, it's fun. To- Speaking of that offense, and you mentioned Terrell Hookfin, 137.8 receiving yards per game. He's done it in five contests this season, and he's up there with some high company in the NAIA. Talk about his play and what that means for the offense. Terrell, Terrell's a big-time player for us. Um, the first year, I he was one of the first players I signed when I got uh, when I came to uh, T.C., um, I, I saw him at the camp, and we, he kind of just bothered me, and then he showed up. Um, but it was at Southern and a couple other places where he really didn't get an opportunity to play. Uh, came here year one, was All-American, uh, led the country in, in, in receiving. Then last year, he kind of fell off a little bit last year, kind of enjoyed college life. We got, got, got in the fraternity and enjoyed college life and kind of uh, set him back a little bit. And then this year, he kind of went out and worked out with some guys in the NFL out in, uh, in Tampa. He kind of got his mind right and his body right, and he's, he's coming to play. He'll do what we ask him to do. He play quarterback, receiver, uh, running back. He played DB sometimes for us here uh, uh, the first year. He got a, got a pick six and stuff like that. We're trying to punt. So he's a big-time player. Uh, he practices hard. Uh, he's starting to get a reaction he needs uh, by being in the HBCU All-Star game um, this, this past year. He's got, got some scouts coming to see him play this weekend. So it, it's, it's some things that uh, he, he can do this. He's he's starting to open some eyes up and, and things like that. I I'd have took him in the XFL. He played for me in the XFL, so I, I tell him that all the time. So he he, he can make around and he can move around. But a great kid at practice all the time. Um, he's a leader, quiet leader. He he'll get and those guys follow him. We're visiting now with Coach Darrell Jackson from Texas College. The Steers are five and two this season, and Coach, that, that's a, a pretty big number for a number of reasons. There have been two winning seasons in Texas college history since the reinstatement of the program. So really the modern era, uh, and those are back in the early 2000s, uh, back in 2003 and 2005. One more win, and you have four more games to do it, uh, then it's a, a winning record for the first time in 19 years. Have you thought about that at all, and and what would something like that mean for the program? We we coaches talk about it. For the players, we keep it, uh, you know, winning win a, win a day. Uh, win a weekend. So when uh, we go one and zero this weekend, that's all we look forward to. We got a twenty four hour rule. We give them twenty four hours to enjoy the win, and it's on to the next one. And so those guys are really hungry. Um, us coaches know what's at stake. Uh, we want the guys to continue to play and and play hard. 
Um, a winning season here will we, be we big time. Is to start of something, uh, help you out in recruiting and springboard us to, uh, to, to to bigger heights. Like I was at Oklahoma when Coach Stoops came in, and we was bad, and we we went seventy four his uh, his first year in, and the next year won national championship. So I kind of know what what how big a winning season is at every place. So it's just this is a matter of just make sure those guys stay the course, and us as coaches continue to do what we've been doing. I tell you, Coach, living uh, just this side or, or on the north side of the Red River, we're, we're familiar with what Coach Stoop is and uh, that group that included you did. So I, <laughs> I appreciate that from way back when and watching that. Uh, you you have an offense that, uh, of course, Hook Finn, you talked about him, though, 31-plus points a game. You're giving your defense something to work with, too. And that, in recent years, hasn't always been the case for either side of the ball. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that offense and, and what that means then to, to help the defense out. Uh, the offense is doing a great job. Uh, we, we can help ourselves by taking care of the ball a little bit more. Um, and it, we, we've, we've, as an offense, know we left a lot out, out on the field. And we can, be, we can play better. But it's big time because as long as we score and defense keeps the score down, that we, we, we have good we have a success. Um, and having a defense that's – our defense fly, flies around. Those young guys out in the back, they make plays, and they make turn. They, they get turnovers when we need to. And as an offense, as long as they get turnovers, we need to cash in a score. Um, so it all complements each other. Coach Jones, he'll he'll get on me when we when we out here, and I'm, I'm and I get my Mike Leach mode, and we just throw it all over the place. He'll 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 come down and be like, Coach, you got to you got to slow it down a little bit because we will get in the mode when we start playing fast and things like that and, and going on. And sometimes you're not really helping. You scoring, but you're not helping your defense because uh, you're scoring so quick. So he'll he'll come down there and he'll. He'll say something now. Well, I listen to him. It depends. It depends on how it's going. But other than that, we we have some fun and we we try to complement each other. Oh, that that sounds like fun to get to to you know maybe listen in every now and again, see how something like that would go across. Coach, three of the final four games of the season are at home, and that includes Saturday's game against Oklahoma Panhandle State University. The Aggies are coming to town for a game on Saturday. We talked about the fact that it's important to get that win. You mentioned earlier maybe some scouts on hand as well. Preview the the uh, the Sooner Athletic Conference game against uh, OPSU this Saturday. OPSU going to always be hard. They, they, they play hard. They're well-disciplined, good, well-coached. Um, got to stop the run, got to stop the quarterback and a uh, receiver in our defense. We just got to play uh, steer football, just take care of the football and go and, uh, and be smart. And I, like I tell everybody else, uh, we'll roll the ball out and see what happens. You know, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Try to make it look like football um, on, on Saturday and, and, and keep playing. Um, hopefully the guys will play well. It, it'll be hot. So we got to make sure we hydrate ourselves and take care of each other um, and just go play football and have fun. And whatever happens, happens. OPSU is a good team. Um, they're coming off a loss to Langston uh, at home, so that's a long that's a long trip for them to come here. So we just got to be ready to play. Um, you know, they looking at us uh, for a win, and we look for them for a win. And so it, we'll just go out and, like I said, roll the ball out and let's play some football and see what happens. All right. Again, that's this Saturday, Panhandle State on the road at Tyler, Texas, against Texas College. Coach Jarrell Jackson, thank you so much, for sir, for taking time with us today here on Midwest Sports Net on the summit. We appreciate it and uh, success to the steers for the remainder of this season. We'll be Thank following you. you. Thank you.